On behalf of the Victoria Church family, I want to express our deepest condolences to Poama family on the death of their mother, grandmother, and the great grandmother, Aurika Poama, to Cornell and to Carmen and to all the children. I just want to give you encouragement from God's word that reminds us that one day we will see Aurika. One day she will be young and healthy. Oh Lord, come soon, Lord Jesus. So dear Poamas, you are in our thoughts and prayers. We mourn together with you. First Thessalonians chapter four, verses 15 to 17. God says, according to the Lord's own word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left till the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Oh, friends, what a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see, when he takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land. At this time, I would like to pray for Poama's family. Let us bow our heads. Our dear Holy Father, Lord, in complete humility, we come before you, Lord. And Lord, our hearts today are filled with sorrow. Lord, we pray for the Poama family as they are going through their loss. Lord, we pray that you will bless them and give them comfort as they will be looking forward to the day when they can be reunited with their mom. Lord, comfort them, send your holy angels and remind us, Lord, of that beautiful resurrection morning. And that's why we all are looking forward to the day when we shall see each other once again and we shall see you face to face. Oh, Lord, what a joy that will be. Lord, you remind us in the book of Revelation not to pray for those who have passed away, but pray for those who are still alive, because the devil, Satan, is the one who knows that his days are numbered, and he is filled with rage, seeking whom he may devour. Lord, so I pray for those of us who are still alive. Help us all to one day meet our loved ones who passed away by the tree of life. Oh Lord, we look forward to that day. So help us to be worthy. Help us to live lives that reflect the values of the heavenly kingdom. Yes, we mourn, but we do not mourn like the rest of the world. The only safety for us is in you. And so we thank you and we pray to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.